What's up everybody, welcome back to Supreme Tech, where you can learn tech on YouTube for free. Now, this video, I want to show you how to record your Fire Stick screen with a good picture and good resolution. Um, it's going to look like this here, nice and crispy in the background, you can see it right now. It's great resolution, great picture quality, and you can have it looking exactly like this. Alright guys, real quick. Before we hop into it, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like button if this helps you out. And make sure to hit that notification bell so YouTube tells you whenever I come out with a new video. The trick to get the best picture on your Fire Stick recording is one of these. Let's see if I can get it in the picture good. Okay, this is a HDMI video capture device. Okay, now if you're familiar with Elgato products, they their um, video capture devices, they have a whole um, selection that you can choose from. They have expensive ones, which is four five hundred dollars, and they have cheap ones that are like seventy five to one hundred bucks. This one here is the cheapest way to go. It's about fifteen to twenty dollars. I got mine for I believe seventeen dollars on Amazon. I'll be sure to put this link and some Elgato versions in the description below so you can buy one if you want. But basically this all it is is a device that you plug in the fire device into the HDMI port here and then you plug in this USB port into your PC. Okay. Now there's other steps that we have to do so make sure to stick around to the end of the video because you have to watch these steps, guys, or else you're not going to be able to record it. Um, I also forgot to mention real quick, you don't have to just do this for recording. You can do this to watch your Fire Stick on your computer. So real quick, I'm going to show you how to hook it up, and then I'm going to come back and show you how to download this program that you need called OBS Studio. Okay, so I'm using the Fire Stick Lite, okay? It has this extender that comes off. So yours might have the extender, yours might not have the extender, but either way, it's still gonna work. For this one, I'm gonna leave it plugged in. Um, now this goes to your power cord, so don't worry about that. This is still gonna get plugged into the wall, right? And you're going to want to make sure that you have room in your outlet so that you can plug it in. And then after you plug in the power, you're going to want to take the HDMI side of the fire stick. And you're going to plug this into the back of the video capture device where the HDMI part is. Plug it in. So it should look like that. Okay. If you guys have a fire TV box that has an actual HDMI cord. Then all you got to do is plug that into this part. Same thing. Um, wherever the HDMI would plug into either your TV or your monitor, this is what's going to plug it into now. After you got all this hooked up, all you got to do is come to your PC and find a USB port. I got one right on the top so we can plug it right in. And one other thing that I want to mention too is that if you have one like this you kind of want to bend it over to make sure that it's not um you know ripping out the usb port and just make sure that it's secure because you can have it hanging all over the place and uh, put pressure on the port itself and it could mess up your pc now that we got everything hooked up let's hop back onto the computer and i can show you how to download obs and then we'll show you what settings to change. All right, so now that you got it all hooked up, what you're gonna wanna do is come to obsproject.com and slash download. If you can't find it, just Google it. And you'll look here. You're gonna wanna click on Windows if you're on a Windows computer. Um, click on Mac if you're on a Mac. And then click Download Installer. Follow the steps, save it to your folder download install it then we're going to want to open it up and when you first open up obs you're not going to have anything in these two boxes in your scenes or your sources 
they're going to be completely empty and the first thing you want to do is click the plus button and you're going to add a scene you can name it whatever you want okay um don't worry about this display capture and audio capture um those i need to record my screen right now uh, what we want to do is click on this plus button click on video capture device and click ok all right so once you've done that you're going to want to make sure under the device tab that it's on usb video then you scroll to the bottom click this box scroll down again and change this to digital audio interface click ok then there's two more things you got to do one we got to come to settings click on audio and come to advanced then you're going to want to make sure this is on whatever speakers you want to hear your audio from so i want mine on the real tech audio click that click apply and okay after that we have one more thing to do we're going to come to the audio mixer here and find video capture device um, i'm doing video capture device 2 so we're going to find the settings gear right here and we're going to right click click advanced audio properties come to video capture device 2 whichever one you're doing it could be one whatever you named it and come all the way to where it says audio monitoring and turn this to monitor and output after that close it and you're good to go i have my display capture on top of my video capture right here but if i slide the video capture on top of display you see that we got the fire stick pulled up it's running it's good to go let me turn the volume up and see if we got audio yep we got audio and you guys can see how crispy it really is it's a great picture i can't stress it enough honestly this is the best way to go if you're recording youtube videos especially right where you got the fire stick in the background i just got a green screen also so you could put a green screen behind you and just have your face and your body and then the whole fire stick is the background another thing you can do is just click record and play a movie then you have that whole movie on a file and you can watch it whenever you want um, one thing you got to watch out with that though is file space if you don't have enough storage in your pc you might not be able to hold a lot of movies and tv shows but overall this is honestly like i said one of the best ways to go especially for the youtubers let me just switch this display capture on top so you guys can see what i'm doing again you won't see display capture you won't see audio input capture unless you already have it and you know what you're doing like i said this is just for me being able to record my screen to show you guys what to do um you should just have one video capture device and one scene if this is all you're doing it for so again it's the hdmi video capture device and it's amazing product guys make sure to check it out if you're in the market for any video capture device this is the cheapest way to go and this brand specifically or this model you see there that one is definitely a good one i've seen a lot of reviews and i've seen a lot of other videos on people using this that's why i bought it um, i do my research on products pretty good and this is a good one and like i said if you guys want to step your game up and get an elgato those are the way to go also i mean they got a lot more um, flexibility and a lot more compatibility with their products than this here but again if you're only using it for a fire stick this is the way to go nice and cheap and it does great picture all right so support input max resolution is 4k support output max resolution is 1080p you got support for 8 10 and 12 bit deep color 
You got support for AWG26, HDMI standard cable, input up to 15 meters. Um, that's 1080p and below resolutions. Support most acquisition software like VLC, OBS, AmCamp, etc. Um, supports Windows, Android, and Mac OS. Conform USB video and UVC standard. Conform USB video 1.5 and 1.0 standard. Conform to USB audio UAC standard. And without external power supply, compact and portable. That's what it says on the back, guys. So there's the specs for you. And this will also work with certain DSLR digital cameras, PS4, Xbox, um, PC, obviously, Nintendo Switch you can use, and a lot of other devices that are HDMI compatible. So keep that in mind. This it just basically transfers HDMI audio and video to devices. Okay. So with all that said, I think I'm going to end this one out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.